What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, I'm Evil Rabbit here on Assetto Corsa on the Xbox One for something a little bit different, something a little bit different from what I normally do, I am not drifting actually, I'm actually here touring the Nuremberg Ring in one of the online open sessions for touring of Nuremberg Ring, which is kind of cool because you get to pull out the pits and drive the Nuremberg Ring like you were, you know, a tour tourist per se. So we decided to take the expo out, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll see uh, what type of lap time I can turn in this expo. Oh. Expo here, let's get into our cockpit view. Let's do this. Nuremberg tour here in the expo. It's gonna be cool to see that suspension working. So like this is actually pretty cool that they have a server set up where it's like you were visiting Nuremberg. So there we go, let's rip this. Turbo Expo. That suspension's working. Let's see what we can do here at our tour of the Nuremberg Ring in our rented expo. Don't lose our rent. Don't lose the rent today, Expo. All right, we go. Okay. There we go. A little hard on the brakes there, though. A little bit hard on the throttle. We're good. We got it. We're still good. This Expo is nasty quick for what it is. I didn't need downshifts there. I was thinking it was this turn. Oh my gosh. Don't lose it. Quick to recover this car though, so we're good. Oh, except right there. Now. Still good, I think, though. Yeah, we're still good. Steering wheel's still straight. We're still good to go. Sideways and squirrely. Sketchy on how this is going to go through that long stretch. That suspension just working. Oh, get it off the grass. A little bit easier on the brakes. Forgot, don't have ABS. There we go. I couldn't remember if we had six gears. Shift knob says we do, so. Ease through this section. I know there's a couple bumps here. There we go. Part on the brakes. Good. That was nice. That was real nice, actually. So, I have still been going back and forth with 5 and 5 games about controller and right button not working for handbrake um i've been back and forth with them and they said they tested it and it was working for them now i believe they were on a controller because when i tested it on my controller it works uh when you're using a controller but not for the wheel so i'm wondering if it has something to do with the wheel and the paddle shifters i'm gonna send them an email back telling them hey it works on the controller but not on a wheel. Is there anything we can do about this? Or is it just because of how the wheel is? And, you know, certain cars having to use paddle shifters for shifting. Is there a way we can, like, turn that off or something on those lines? So I'll figure that out. I'm going to email them and get back. Like I said, I will keep you guys up to date when I hear anything about it because I'm very curious and would like to switch that as well. Because the Forza 7 coming out. And all the other games with the ability to have handbrake on right paddle. I don't want to be constantly switching, even though I did build my rig so I can switch my wires around really quickly with pigtails to switch my handbrake. But if I keep it all on one, then 
I'd be so much happier. So we're getting a pretty, uh, pretty aggressive, decent run right now through here, through Nuremberg in this expo. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Not, don't do too much racing on a seto, but I wanted to. I like the brakes up as I say that. But I wanted to get more into the racing because, like I said, Forza 7 is coming out, Perfect Cars 2 is coming out. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of track racing again. Yep. There's that snapback that always gets me. All right, so ripping this expo here through Nuremberg. If you guys want to see more racing on, you know, here on Assetto, you know, comment down in the comment section down below. I do read the comments. I do reply to the comments a lot. For those who do comment down below, you know, I appreciate the comments. You know, I get back to them right away usually. And, you know, it's my way to keep interaction with you guys in the comment section because I can't, unless I'm in an open lobby and, in, you know, a party with you guys, I can't really interact as much. But I am going to start getting more interaction with subscribers in lobbies and games and such, especially with all the new games coming out just hauling right now 126 doesn't seem like it's that fast but in this expo uh it's pretty quick probably could be going a lot faster though but i think we're going uphill so not a bad time so far still got a long way to go though but Plenty of time to mess up. We'll lock up the race there, but we're still good. Well, I don't need to start drifting this thing. That's for sure. Or blow our motor like that. My shifter decided to go into the wrong gear. So that is not a good sign. It's now our engine's yellow, so we probably don't have as much acceleration as we could. Now, I know what you're saying. No, you just went into the wrong gear. Now, it was actually... I've been having a bit of a shifter issues recently, and I still haven't got it fixed. I just don't have the time or feel like taking it all apart right now. I may have to do that here, though. Otherwise, it's going to seriously get me, you know, when it comes to, you know, the new games coming out. Where shifting all the way through my gears is going to be a major play. But that was the first takeoff I've had all session so far so not bad a little compressed air I guess helped haul into this last section here there's an expo it has a lot of grip Whoa, we saved it we're good I didn't think we were gonna save that to be quite honest with you Things sound amazing though but I do like the uh, suspension in the front working. It's pretty cool to see that. As well as, you know, the wheel rotating in full rotation. I don't believe Forza 7, based on the demo and everything, just still does not have that, which is kind of disappointing, but I know Project Cars does, and so does Seto. That's why I'm excited to get my PC either fixed or built a new one. But, you know, that takes a little extra money to do so I can get onto a set on the PC and get into the mod world with all the you know, modified drift cars and all the motor swaps because the sounds here are amazing in these games. Go. Coming around to the last final bit. there but we're still good oh no Looking hard on the acceleration there we were on a decent pace so Let's see what this thing can get on that stretch with a somewhat damaged engine so like I said you guys know you can follow me on Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram all of which are found in the description box below if you guys want to see more of Seto, comment down in the comment section down below. I had a lot of fun in the drift session. We'll go back and forth with a couple of the guys from the drift session that could be doing probably uh, you know, a lobby with those guys, get some tandems going, you know, using identical tunes and such. So this expo 
he was going to probably top out at 150 before I'm going to have to get off. Maybe not. 47, 48. Oh, oh. Uh, um, they probably should have said something that there's um, a barricade there. So... I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a set of course. If you like to see you want to see more, don't forget to comment down in the comment section down below. As always guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Um I broke the game. <laughs> I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.